Hey Jackal, this will be a quick video and it's that time when DaVinci Resolve released, you won't believe it, text trap. So you have, let's see, you have the text node, you have the text plus node and now in DaVinci Resolve 20, which is currently in beta, we have the multi text node. Now I did try to make what's it called Star Wars, I think, kind of effect, but it's not really possible because we don't have the Z dimensions, so no depth to the text, we just have the X and Y. But at least it's a start. So what you want to do with the text, you can make a bunch of them, I'll just show you with the default text one. I have some text. Usually this is what will happen if you use the text node or the text plus node, well not node, it's a title, but in any case this is what it will look like. But now you have an option to change the layouts. Now if you click on one of these options you will just make a new text node, not what I want since I already have the text inside, so instead I will go to layout and change the type from point to a text box. And voila, we now have a text wrap. And you can adjust the Z axis. It kind of works in this way, but when you use perspective, then we can't really get, or at least I can't get, the Star Wars kind of effect. But for the perspective to do anything really, and also the height, you have to enable the clip to text box. And let me go into full screen mode. Now with the size you can simply animate the size if that is something that you want. Can we go above one? We can. So that is nice. You can make a pop in and out animation. You can adjust the width. Maybe what I want to do is just add bunch more text. And now if I uncheck the clip, this is how much text I actually have. So with the clip enabled, we only see this much text. So you can specify the width and the height. Well, I guess perspective does this. What I actually wanted to change is the rotation on the x-axis. But now when it comes to animation, you would simply animate the y position. So from down to up, but as I said this only animates the Y position, it doesn't really go into the screen, if you wanted the Star Wars kind of effect. You also have the possibility to shade, so you can add a quick outline, though in this case we would have to increase the size of the text. You can also specify the paragraph, how this should be the line spacing, and you have all of the controls that you may want, and the merge is if you have multiple texts within this multi-text title. So maybe leave the perspective as is if you want big fonts. And I think that's basically it. Now you do have this one which positions the text on a circle, but if you use too much text then this will happen. So use this option wisely. As for the page, you can add some quick background color to this. And the image, you can specify the width and the height of the actual composition. So now I have disabled most of the options. Let me also disable the clip to text. Since this is what you would probably want if you just wanted to animate a bunch of text. I'm not saying that this is a good option, but it is available. Though one thing that I noticed that it is missing is the write on function. So you cannot animate the text being written over time. Which is a shame, but maybe they will include that option in a future beta release. And also, why is this not as wide as I would expect? With so we can also increase the width, that's more like it. Now that's how you can make a simple and quick text wrap in DaVinci Resolve 20, 
do let me know if you need the studio version to be able to access the multi-text title. If you don't need the studio version, that's awesome. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful and would like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackal, keep it digital.